Hello friends, uh, good morning all, hope all are doing well. Uh, in today's topic, uh, we are going to cover radio indicates and their co correlations and uh, here we are going to discuss uh, RSRP, RSRQ, sin R, CQI and your MCS coding schemes. So, uh, this, this is the major indicates uh, in which basis you identified the uh, we identified the issues in our network and uh, uh, let discuss one by one that is your radio indicates uh, that is your uh, reference signal receive power rsrp and uh, reference signal receive quality rsrq and your uh, receive signal strength indicator RSSI, signal to interference noise ratio sin R, channel quality indicator CQI, modulation coding scheme MCS and QS class identifier that is QCI. So we are uh, discussing one by one. First we start with RSRP. What is RSRP? So RSRP is their uh, reference signal uh, <coughs> received power and uh, RSRP is measured in a signal strength. Uh, it is the most important uh, uh, used by the cell selection, reselection and handover process. As per 3 gpp uh, 3G, 3G, uh, we are using uh, RSCP, uh, receive signal code power and uh, in 2G that is RX labels. <coughs> in this way, 4G having the RSRP and the formula is RSRP uh, is equal to RSSI minus 10 log 12 N. N here is the number of uh, resource block, number of resource block matla. Uh, how many resource block we have how uh, if you are using 5 megahertz bandwidth they are, they are having 25 resource block if you are having 20, 10 megahertz bandwidth they are having uh, 50 number of resource block that n is the number of rvs that accordingly rsrp is equal to rssi minus 10 log 12 into n and the range is vary from minus 44 to minus 140 dbm okay and its unit is dbm so what we learn from RS, uh, this slide that is RSRP, RSRP is the reference signal receipt power and uh, that formula is equal to RSSI minus 10 log 12 N, N is the number of uh, resource block and uh, RSSI reference signal strength indicator and that range is varies from minus 44 to minus 140 dBm and uh, that, this is the this is the graph uh, how that is this is your RS, uh, <coughs> RS carrier and your data carriers and that is your RSRP. This is for 100 RP, 100 RP, the 20 megahertz, uh, 20 megahertz bandwidth uh, uh, representations with the frequency. So, next we go for RSRQ. RSRQ is your uh, uh, reference signal receive quality, and uh, uh, <coughs> that is your quality. And uh, RSRP, RSRP is your uh, RSRP is for your uh, signal strength, okay and rsrq is for your quality signal quality okay and uh, uh, <coughs> the formula is rsrp divided by rssi divided by n here n is the number of resource block and rsrp is the reference signal receipt power and reference signal strength indicator and that range is vary from minus 3 to minus 19.5 db and rsrp rsrp is uh, unit is the dbm and rsrq unit is the db okay and this is the formula and uh, in uh, according to 3G, 3G we have the EC by N0, okay, that is the quality in 3G, you are measuring through EC by N0, in 4G, uh, in 4G you are measuring through RSRQ, in 2G you are measuring through RX quality, okay, what you learn from this side, what is RSRQ, RSRQ is the reference signal receive quality, range is from minus 3 to minus 19.5 uh, db and what is the formula rsrq is equal to rsrp that is RSS, rssi divided by n and this is the signal quality quality of the signals okay then you go for sin r signal interference uh, sorry rssi rssi is equal to reference signal strength indicator reference signal strength indicator is uh, your uh, signal strength uh, that is contain your uh, Serving cell power, noise, interference, all these things, all these things are combined. That is called RSSI, and that is uh, <coughs> that is vary from according to the RS, R, RS, uh, CP values. If you are getting a uh, getting a uh, greater than minus 90, uh, 90 is value uh, in uh, uh, 
that that will be the bad rssi and that is impacting your user experience so you, are, you want to optimize and uh, that is uh, accordingly for it is uh, for all the spectrum having 1.5 3 megahertz 5 megahertz 10 megahertz and 15 megahertz and 20 megahertz if rssi is high and that means it is uh, it will impact your the customer experience and the quality of the service that means if your rssi is high that your quality will be quality quality of the service will be degraded and uh, that is uh, that means the uh, drop will be increased on that particular area and particular site and uh, uh, and uh, there is there is also the coverage sync uh, coverage sync will happen so uh, accordingly this value we can optimize uh, the rssi value to improve our the customer experiences so uh, next slide is the signer. Uh, signer is the signal interference noise ratio. Uh, on, uh, one point here you remember that RSRP, R RSRP, RSRQ, and RSSI, all the the three GPP standard. But signer is not a three GPP standard. That is defined uh, that is defined by the UE vendors and calculated uh, the signers. So, and signer is the formula is the average received signal divided by average interface signal plus noise. Okay, that is signal interference noise ratio. Okay, what you learn from uh, now? One is the, your RSRP. Uh, what is your RSRP? What is the RSRP? Uh, uh, reference signal is the power. Range is from minus 44 to minus 140, minus 140 dBm. And the formula is RSSI minus 10 log 12 n. N is the number of resource block. What is RSRQ? RSR reference signal is quality. And uh, that is formula is RSRP divided by RSSI divided by N. And range is varies from minus 3 to minus 19.5 dB. And here is the RS, RSRP unit is the dBm. And here is the unit is the dB. Remember this. And what is the RSSI? RSSI is the, your reference signal strength indicator. That is the contain your serving cell power, noise, interference and power. And that formula into N into RSRP. That is N is equal to number of resource block. What is sign as? Signal interference noise ratio. And that is vary from this. And this range is minus 3, minus 3 to plus 30, plus 30 dB. Okay, and that is measure sign R is measured through your PD, PDSCA channels, and here, here uh, RSSI also in measure with PUSCS physical uplink share channel and physical uplink uh, control channels that you can measure through the counter based, and here you can measure RSSI downlink PDSCS and PDSCS. Uh, so physical downlink share channel, physical uplink share channel. Okay, that is your RSSI parameters, and uh, after that. Uh, CQI, CQI is the channel quality indicator and this is the major fat factor in the 4G, 4G in terms of the uh, channel quality uh, that range is varies from 1 to 15 and uh, that is your 1 to 6 you are getting the QPSK modulation, 7 to 9 you are getting 16 core modulations and 10 to 15 you are getting 64 core modulations and the higher is the CQI you are getting higher modulation scheme and higher codec rate and higher efficiency and that is directly proportional to your throughputs if you are not getting high, uh, good throughput on a particular uh, site or cells that means you need to check the CQI values what is my CQI values and CQI is the, if you are getting uh, not getting the uh, good CQI is that means you are 7 to 15 that means user will be not experiencing the good throughput on that particular area or particular sites so uh, that is all related to the CQI. CQI according to according to the CQI value, we are assigning the uh, assigning the transport block size, and uh, this uh, this is number of RBs allocated to this according to the CQI. So uh, here we uh, here we can uh, uh, work on this CQI to improve. We are getting the bad CQI of the particular area or particular sites. Uh, this is the major factor in the 4G to improve in terms of the throughputs. It directly convert directly impact your throughputs. Okay, and uh, here uh, one point is uh, there. Uh, one point uh, you want to re uh, remember uh, in this, and n is the number of RB, uh, and the number of RB is allocated by dynamically by by your E node Bs. Okay. And your 5 megahertz, uh, explaining 5 megahertz, you having 25 RB and 25 RB allocated the user, whatever the user connected at that particular TTI, transmission time interval, whose TTI, uh, accordingly, that you are getting the throughputs, okay? Now, now what do you learn from CQI? CQI is the channel quality indicator, it ranges from 1 to 15. Uh, 1 to 6 we are getting the QPSK modulation, 7 to 9 we are getting 16 core modulations and 10 to 15 we are getting 64 core modulations and accordingly these modulation schemes we are getting the codec rate, if you have 6, 6, 15, uh, 15 CQI we are getting higher 64 core modulation schemes 
and that uh, codec rate is 948 and your efficiency is 5.55 so accordingly you are getting the good throughputs okay and uh, your next next side is the mcs mcs is the modulation coding schemes modulation coding schemes range is 0 to 31 and uh, that is your uh, now we are using for using to 28 and uh, here is the 0 to 9 you are getting qpsk modulations and 10 to 16 you are 16 core modulations and 17 to 28 there are 64 core modulations okay and uh, that number of rb is allocated accordingly according to your mcs uh, index if you are getting higher mcs index that you are getting more rbs and more rbs means you are more throughputs okay that whatever remember from MCS slide, MCS slide, MCS modulation coding scheme range is vary from this and 0 to 9 is the QPSK, 10, 10 to 16 is the 16 com and 17 to 28 that is 64 com and the TPS index also you can remember what TPS index you have to pass in according to TPS index that is number of RBs will allocate it to you. Okay and another is your QCI, QCI is the major factor. Uh, <coughs> QCI is a very range from 1 to 9, okay, and that is uh, divided into two parts. One is the GBR and non GBR. GBR means guaranteed beat rate, non GBR, non guaranteed beat rate, okay, and uh, that is the priority beat. Here, the, here is the first priority is the QCI 5 that is used for the IMA signaling. If you are only using the voltage call, that QCI 1 is using that priority, second priority after signaling, then you are using uh, able to use the voltage services. That is your getting the physical block. Physical block means KSI one. KSI one is the priority two. And uh, here is your uh, real time gaming. Real time gaming having the uh, low latency. Low latency in the sense fifty milliseconds. When you are playing any game in online, if you are getting any any latency is high, that means you are not getting uh, the good throughputs and uh, that that may be interrupt. So. Uh, that that is the one is the first is the first of one your highest priority is the IMA signal link and second highest priority is your conventional voice or the volte and the third priority third priority is your real time gaming and fourth priority is your video video calling if you are ever uh, doing video call through your WhatsApp uh, and your Facebook or uh, that that is that that is the required to real time monitoring because if you are not getting the, the uh, high latency if you are getting high latency and hard packet error that may be interrupted and uh, seven eight nine that are using for the non gbr non gbr is here delay is uh, your six and uh, eight and nine that delay is i must that you are when you are using the uh, videos from youtube facebook that is that is that that kisha is assigning to you so what whatever you remember kisha kisha range one to nine gbr and non gbr one to four gbr five seven six seven eight nine is non gbrs and conventional voice real time gaming i may signaling that should be remembered this is the QS classified that is your uh, <coughs> 1 to 9 and that basis that all the parameters are mapping through your uh, IP domain, packet core domain and core domain in this basis and radio domain also. So hope you like this video uh, that is cover all the radio indicators. Uh, if you have any query related to this you can directly go to my unofficial LT Facebook page or my YouTube and uh, in comment box and also you can message me. Hope you like video. If you like, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for your time.